right. Before people on Twitter get butthurt and accuse me of bragging and being arrogant, I'm not bragging, I'm just illustrating so you guys can see how my model works, and you can see what sort of model you can develop and you can employ if you spend the time and invest the time to learn what I've learned. Um, so if you look at my Ichima model with the 55 and 99 EMAs and the Ichimoku cloud with leading span A and leading span B on the top and the bottom of the cloud, you can see here where I got my dynamic supports. The 55 EMA was holding like a champ. We moved back up, got rejected. Then we came back down and got held at the 99 EMA. The only time out of this entire thing that we failed to bounce at one of my Ichima dynamic supports was right here when we bounced off of the 50% Fibonacci extension, which I also called. If you look at one of my earlier tweets, I specifically said, if we fail to hold at the EMAs, I think we're going to correct and bounce off the 50% uh, Fib extension. We did that. We moved up again. We were riding along the 99, or sorry, the 55, which is right at the top of the cloud at leading span A. Um, and now we're breaking out. Yesterday, I said, I still think we're going to move up. We're going to trend up here because you can see the cloud trending up, and that's usually a really strong precursor. Now, we can come back down. It is very possible we get rejected again at my resistance, but if we do break through this resistance the next time, I think we're going to keep going. This time, most of the candle body was restrained uh, to within my range here, below my major resistance here. That was the short-term breakout, so that was a very accurate call. What I was more interested to see is where we broke out past it. Those wicks took us all the way up to about 4165. Uh, that's going to be the ultimate target. First, we have to get past the first resistance, then 4165. Then if we do that, we're going to complete our wave three run up to about 46, 4250 to 4300 somewhere. Um, all the while, as long as we're moving up on BTC, as long as we're stable on BTC, all of my alt plays are going to run for the most part. I got stopped out on a couple of them, but a majority of them are still intact and looking really strong. Nano, or sorry, EOS looks amazing. Um, my uh, Knowles trade still looks insane. Now, I've been in since down here, so I have lots of profit locked in. I'm risk-free and everything. People who got into my later trade ideas uh, got in up here, which is still an active play. That crucial resistance and support has been holding like a champ as well. So have my Ichima supports along the way. Um, BNB got stopped out on this tiny little, on this little wick, which sucks. Um, I would actually buy right back into BNB right now. I was already in BNB from down here, so I haven't gotten stopped out. But if you bought in up here on this trade, I would just buy right back in now and do try it again. It was only 1.5% risk. You get stopped out on this wick, and now you buy back in at the original entry again. You're essentially just getting into the same trade a second time. I think it's worth it because we have a lot of bullish indicators there on BNB. Um, ONT still looks really good. We're up there. We could probably move up our stop loss to risk-free status if you bought in at this latest trade. Uh, I wouldn't do it just yet, but it's getting pretty close to the point where I would. Quantum still looks good on this latest uh, entry right up here. That still looks really good. We're, we're nearing the point where you can move up your stop loss to risk-free status. Um, VET got stopped out, and BTT got stopped out. But I'm looking at some other potential entries. There's a lot of good-looking trades. Don't wait for me to give you trade ideas. Find them on your own. You know what to do. Look for areas where you have really strong support and the price is close to that strong support. So if you have really strong support right here at 7,900 and the price is right here at 7,860, you can buy at 7,860, place your stop loss at 7,800 and you'll have, or just below the support at 7,800 rather, and you'll have your entry, then a support, then your stop loss. If you can do all that and keep it within 1% to 3% risk, you're in good shape. Um, all right, as I find some other plays, I'll share them with you. But for now, you know what to look for. Just get to work. There's a lot of good opportunities right now. If BTC um, keeps moving up and breaks out of this resistance, you're going to wish that you are in some trades. I'm telling you.